Hi, it's Debbie Williams, NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I'd like to talk to you about how you can overcome negative internal voices. Maybe you've got an addiction and you want to overcome that. Maybe you've had anorexia or bulimia or any number of um, addictions through food addictions, through drug addictions, smoking, and you want to be able to control that. One way to do that, if you've got an internal dialogue that's urging you to have whatever it is, by dealing with the urges and recognising that they're only going to last a, a minute or two, by just saying over and over again, yeah, yeah, I'll have it later, I'll have it later, yeah, I'm going to have it later, it's better than arguing with it, no, 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 I can't have it, because then a battle starts. And by saying I'll have it later, I'll have it later, it helps you get over those two minutes of intense urgency to get to the other side when you realise that, oh, I'm not so bothered now. Oh, I've got through that milestone. If I can do that, then I can continue doing more. Now, inside our mind, we have an internal dialogue that sometimes is not as friendly as it needs to be. And sometimes overcoming an addiction, the addiction still calls us. And I was watching the British comedian Russell Brands a while ago, and I never really got him until I watched this one video. And it explained a lot, and I'd like to explain my take on, on how sometimes addictions can actually help you in the first place i.e. anorexia, it's a weight loss strategy that doesn't have an exit strategy, so they keep on keeping on. But in the meantime, they may have lost a lot of weight, which is good if they were overweight, to a heroin addiction that Russell Brand had. I watched him do an interview and he said that he always wanted to be a comedian. And he went out and he did his comedy. And in the early days, like a lot of comedians, he wasn't very good. And a lot of comedians fall at the first fence because if they get booed off the stage, it's hard not to take that personally. But if you're high on heroin or you're drinking lots of alcohol, what that does, it makes you care less about what other people think. The first thing alcohol does, it switches off the internal dialogue. When you overeat on food, that tends to help you forget about the problems because now the problem is I eat too much and you care less about the other stuff. So in a way it has a positive usefulness but the good thing is there are better ways to deal with uh, emotions than using drugs, foods etc. And one of the things that Russell Brand talked about was that he made a decision at one point that the heroin had to go. And I know that on his timeline, he got to the point where he was actually getting quite good. And the heroin got him through the rejection phase and the phase of not being very good because his overall outcome was, I want to be a comedian. So he'd set the intention. So his brain was working towards getting better and better and better. And when he got to a point that he was getting better, then it was a time to address of, oh God, this, this gear is actually destroying me. And so he made a decision to stop. But interestingly enough, he used the addiction, he still uses it in his comedy, and he speaks about the heroine still calling him, and he does it like an internal dialogue of, you know, sometimes she still calls me and says, would you like some? Which he replies back, but you tried to kill me, but I was only playing, but you tried to kill me, now I was teasing you but you tried to kill me. And when you think about it, it's quite funny how he talks about it in that way. And that's what people do inside their head, is they get caught up with their internal voice, but it's one-sided. And when you learn to stand up to that voice and ask it, what must I learn to move on? Because you're not helping me. Paul McKenna did this when he had an internal dialogue that used to tell him after he'd messed up what an idiot he'd been. And one day he thought, if I was walking down the street and somebody said to me what I was saying inside my head, I'd probably hit them. And then he started talking to his internal dialogue and said, look, you know, if you're so clever, show me what I need to do beforehand so I don't mess up. Otherwise, get the hell out of my head. And his voice did just that. And this is the start of controlling your thinking and harnessing the power of your mind 
to work for you rather than against you. Great talking to you today. Bye now.